Welcome back to the Crypto Bot Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Ethereum is running into important support while tens of millions of dollars are rapidly flowing into Ethereum long positions, which I'll talk about later in the video, so definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a quick update here on the daily Bitcoin chart. And over the last one day, we've finally seen a daily candle close back below 28,000. And so obviously, as I've mentioned recently on the channel, if that were to happen, which now it has, that would be a bearish confirmation signal here on the daily time frame, which basically increases the probability of the Bitcoin price heading down towards this next area of support, which is sitting in between around 24,000 to 25,000. More specifically, around 25.2K is where this support level starts. Now, it is important to mention that between now and this support level on the daily time frame, we do have some short-term levels of support, which I'll talk about in just a moment. But obviously, it was just worth mentioning what has actually changed here on the daily time frame over the last one day, which is that daily candle close back below 28,000. And now, once again, as I explained in more detail in my last video, even if we do correct all the way down towards around 24 to 25,000, that would be around the same size correction to what we saw back here during late February, entering into early March. And obviously, that correction occurred within this larger bullish trend here on the daily time frame. So technically speaking, it is still possible we could just see a correction and remain within a larger bullish trend, but obviously, at least in the imminent short term, we do not have the same bullish momentum as what we saw one to two weeks ago. And of course, this has already become clear with recently the daily Bitcoin RSI being in overbought territories, foreshadowing this cool off. And of course, the recent bearish cross here in the daily Bitcoin MACD, once again, showing a slightly increased amount of bearish momentum, at least in the short term. But anyway, now zooming into the for our Bitcoin chart. And right now, as I've recorded in this video, the price of Bitcoin has broken below this area of support, which was sitting in between around 27.5K to around 27.8K. And so basically, if we end up seeing a rejection from this area and to confirm it now as resistance, obviously that would be a short-term bearish signal telling us we're likely going to drop down towards this next area of support, which is sitting in between around 26.6k to 26.8k based on these previous lows. But in a more bullish scenario, if we end up seeing a confirmed break back above this area of previous support, which is potentially now acting as resistance, in that case, obviously that would be a short-term bullish signal. But even in that case, this bearish divergence is still currently active because obviously we're still seeing consistent lower highs in the four hour Bitcoin RSI. And so in order for this bearish divergence to invalidate, we basically need to see a breakout here in the RSI, which right now we are far away from doing. Now, speaking about the four hour Bitcoin RSI, right now, obviously it is sitting in oversold territories, which basically tells us we have somewhat limited room to the downside, at least in the imminent short term. And so we're technically due to see some sort of cool off from the bearish bearish price action, which could most likely be a bit of choppy sideways price action here over the next few hours, maybe over the next day or so. But as for the momentum, at least here on the four hour time frame, as I've been saying since all the way up here, obviously we do not have any significant bullish momentum in the short term. And instead, we are simply looking more bearish than bullish in terms of the momentum at the moment in the short term. And if you want to know how to make money in crypto, even during bearish price action, then stick around to the end of this video to find out more. But first, getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this right here is on the daily ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, as I've recorded in this video, the price of ETH is running into this significant area of support, which is sitting in between around 1770 to 1820. So far, we have seen a bit of a short-term bounce from this area of support. But in a more bearish scenario, 
let's just say if we see a confirmed break below around 1770, then in that case, we have this significant area of support in between 1650 to 1.7K. And in case you missed my last video on the channel, even if we see a pullback all the way down towards around that lower support area, so around 1650 to 1.7K, that would be around a same sized correction to what we saw back here during around February to March. So once again, even if that happens, that doesn't necessarily invalidate the larger bullish trend because we've already seen a similar size correction to that during the middle of this larger bullish trend. But of course, if you're looking at a smaller time frame, it's clear that the short term trend is bearish. We have very low bullish momentum in the short term, as I've been saying every day since all the way up here, since when this bearish divergence actually confirmed. And of course, right now, technically speaking, this bearish divergence is still currently active. So I would not expect any significant bullish momentum or continuation of the larger bullish trend, at least not yet, because once again, we're simply lacking the bullish momentum, at least as of right now. But of course, we could end up seeing short term bounces from these support areas, kind of like how during this short term bullish trend right here, we saw some even smaller rejections or bearish price action during that bullish trend. It's just right now we're essentially trending in the opposite direction on the smaller timeframes in the shorter term, but we can still experience some even smaller bullish price action in the form of bounces from support. Once again, the opposite of these rejections from resistance. And of course, right now, as of recording this video, the price of ETH is running into this short term support area sitting in between 1830 to 1850. And so far, we are currently seeing a bit of a bounce from this area of support. But if we end up seeing a confirmed break below this support area, then the next short term support area would be sitting at around 1700 to around 1720 to 1730 approximately. And as for resistance here on the four hour time frame, we have this area of resistance sitting in between around 1920 to 1940. So obviously, even if we do end up seeing a further bounce from this area of support, just be aware we have this area of resistance sitting right there. And now what's very interesting is right now, despite the fact that the price is in a correction, trending in the bearish direction on the smaller time frames, we are also currently seeing tens of millions of dollars flow into Ethereum long positions on the Bitfinex exchange. This right here, by the way, is on the daily time frame. And so over the last few days, we've actually seen a large increase in Ethereum long positions on this exchange. And in case you're new to all of this, a long position is essentially a bet that the price is going to go to the upside. So this is basically a lot of money betting that the price of ETH is potentially going to see some sort of turnaround or at least a short term bounce from this support. And in case you're wondering the exact amount that has entered into Ethereum long positions on the Bitfinex exchange over the last few days, we've seen just under 35,600 ETH added to these ETH long positions, which is equivalent to well over 60 million US dollars entering into Ethereum long positions. So either this is a small group of large traders or potentially just one massive whale betting that the price of ETH is going to soon potentially start heading back to the upside. So obviously do with this information what you want. Obviously this does not guarantee that the price of ETH is going to rebound back to the upside, but it is something certainly interesting to at least throw into the video and something to consider. And now if you want to know how to maximize your profits in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is either bullish or bearish like at the moment. And the video in the bottom left shows you how to make money if the price is chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.